Hey guys, uh, Jack Spirico here coming to you from the back porch again. Um, got a little uh, tip for you. It is, it is beer 30, so if you don't mind, I'll indulge a little bit while we chat. Some outstanding beer. I had to do like a, a Smoking the Bandit thing. If y'all remember, the Smoking the Bandit movie was about smuggling beer. The first one was anyway over Coors when you couldn't get Coors in certain states. Well, I'm from Pottsville, Pennsylvania, where this stuff's made, and... Uh, it's my, one of my favorite beers, kind of nostalgic for me, and I have a buddy that's, uh, I guess he's kind of like Bandit, you know, he, he smuggles uh, Yingling into Texas, so there's no, uh, there's no smoky chasing him. Anyway, this is on a YouTube playlist, and uh, I know a lot of you guys that are faithful YouTube watchers are also YouTube creators, and... You know, I put a lot of stuff on YouTube, but, like, YouTube isn't my main thing, so I understand some of you be like, Jack, I already knew that, but I also think this might help some folks. So I noticed when I was setting up my most recent playlist, I have a Duck Chronicles playlist for all four seasons, and I was thinking, you know, a lot of people just want to follow season four. So I'll set up a playlist just for season four, and when I get around to it, not being a knucklehead, I'll go back and set up for season one, season two, season three. And I thought that would take a long time. Well, I was setting up season four. I went into the playlist settings. So if you go into your, you know, your your playlists on your channel, and you click on the playlist in question, it'll come to a page that shows everything listed. And what you'll see that your your viewers won't is a little thing in there that says settings. It's like a little gear, and you click that, and the settings comes up. And the only thing I've ever really played with that is setting it up so that you know the first thing in the playlist will be like episode one, episode two. So it's going in that right order. Of course, here comes the F-16. It's like they know. I swear to God, these guys. It's a government conspiracy. It's a dad gone government conspiracy. Get on out of here. Jeez, Annie. Wait that go a minute. All right. So, you click that thing. Well, there's a thing there that says auto add. I looked at that and said, well, that looks cool. And so then I said it, that if it said S4 hyphen duck, automatically put it into uh, the season four Duck Chronicles play playlist. And boom, all of them that were made so far went in there. And then I realized something. Well, since I wasn't real smart about it and I didn't make a season two playlist, a season three playlist, etc. I can just create a new playlist, add one video to it, set the parameters I want so they go in the right order, and then when you make that rule and you apply it, it'll go back retroactively and put them all in there. Well, I think that's cool, not just for going forward, but for fixing some things maybe you should organize a little bit better going back. Now here's the even better part. You can do it based on what the title uh, contains. But what if you um, do a lot of various playlists and like, you know, I have an aquatics playlist and all my aquaponics, all my aquatic, anything it does to do with the fish, it all goes in there. And it might not always have the same type of things in the title to know that. You can set it so if there's a specific word or phrase in the description, it will go in there. But what's even more convenient is you can set it so if you use a certain tag, it will go into that playlist. Now that's really cool because you can just out of the blue decide, hey, this thing really should be with all my stuff that's on XYZ. And by putting tag XYZ in there, even if it's not in the description or the title at all, it'll automatically go in that playlist. And we're a little bit more selective with our tags than we are description. So if we choose a word for our description, we might end up with stuff going in there that really doesn't fit that playlist. But if we go out of our way to create a unique tag, because you could even create a tag that's just totally unique to you. I mean, you could create a tag that's like Dumbazalot, whatever the heck that means, and then whenever you wanted something to go in that playlist, you'd know you'd only get those things in there. So I think it was really cool. Again, I know it's not everybody here really cares because not everybody here is a creator, but if you're a creator and you didn't know this, I think it's a really cool feature that YouTube has added. Uh, one of the things I'd like to hear from you all that are creators, what do you think of the new Creator Studio? I really hated it at first. I'm still not in love with it, but it's getting better. It seems like they know that it sucks and they're trying to make it better. My biggest annoyance in the new creator studio is where you have the description for the video. When you hit enter to put a space in, so there's paragraph breaks, so your video description isn't this like annoying, I, that's my pet peeve online guys. You guys that do like your posts and it's like that big and it's just a job blobule of text. 
right? And you can't read it because it hurts your head, and you don't know how to use the return key to put some spaces in there. Well, when you do your description on the new Creator Studio, and you hit enter, nothing happens. But it does happen! You just can't see it there. When you look at the description, it's actually got spaces in it. Uh, so that's kind of maddening. What are your thoughts on new uh, Creator Studio, and do you like the tip on the playlist? Anyway, with that, hope you enjoy yourself. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. I got a, a buddy coming over to hang out with me and uh, about to throw some ribs on. We'll catch you later.